You're listening to the 2024 Fall share on the Guadalupe Radio Network. The phone number to call in and donate is 1-800-476-3311. Living the Beatitudes is the theme of this week. My name is Wyatt Goolsby. I'm the executive director of KSHJ. That's the Guadalupe Radio Network station in Houston, Texas. Joining us to talk more about their involvement as a longtime supporter and a listener is Faye Bencosme. She uh, has been a supportive both of the volunteer and a regular donor. Faye, thanks so much for coming in and talking with us today. And thank you for having me, Wyatt. And you did a great job pronouncing my last name. Uh, I am so glad <laughs> that you prepped me beforehand because you don't see the name Ben, ben Cosme yes. very often. So it's, it's great to have you in. Tell me, Faye, when did you first hear about the Guadalupe Radio Network? Um, when did you start listening? Uh, well, it was... Definitely when I came to Houston, which was in um, late 2015. Okay. And um, until then, I just hadn't been much of a radio listener. My mm -hmm. All of my faith instruction, my devotion, everything came from attending church. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, I was a, a regular mass goer, daily mass goer, for several years after I had arrived in Houston. And then... Things changed with COVID, and that's mm -hmm. when I had to rely on radio to to get my daily mass. Mm -hmm. And um, and yeah, that, so it was right around that time. I think it was what was that twenty one, mm -hmm. twenty two when we came out of out of lockdowns. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And so the mass in particular was one of the things yes. that really you yes. enjoy listening to on a regular yes. basis. Yes, it was. It's something that I wanted and needed to hear on a regular basis so that's how that's how I came across what when you listen to mass I assume in the mornings what what does yes. that do for you to begin or to start your day and then go to work oh it just it puts me in a right place mm -hmm. it puts me in a right place it sets me up for for the day mm -hmm. and um, it just get, get gets me in the right mind space uh, is is what it does for me. Sure, mm -hmm. and I know that we hear that a lot from supporters of our, of our station who, who like listening to the Mass. Mm -hmm. They also like listening to the Divine Mercy Chaplet at 3 o'clock in the afternoons yes, as well. Yes, yes, and in fact, you know, my my alarm, my mm -hmm. um, biological clock goes off at 4 a.m., so oh, okay. I'm listening from that time on. So, yes, there is the Rosary, the Divine Chaplet. I'm I'm listening to it all, Mother, <laughs> Mother Angelica, mm -hmm. early in the morning doing the rosary, yes. Sure. As I mentioned, you've also volunteered before during past share yes. You've answered phones. Uh, how important is it for you to, to share faith through a radio apostolate, whether it's you or other people? Mm -hmm. and, and how powerful an apostolate do you think it is that we're doing here? So, uh, again, you know, I, I discovered, I came into listening to um, Catholic radio after mm -hmm. um, coming out of the lockdowns and, and just, you know, having had it at that time and realizing how important it was to keep me connected and keep me going. I wanted other people to be able to have that as well. And I just thought, you know, this is an important thing to do. If I am going to, <clears throat> excuse me, give those um, additional resources that I have, and yes, sometimes it is a little sacrifice to to make mm -hmm. it. Yeah. But if I if I am going to make a sacrifice and 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 give my money somewhere, then um, Guadalupe Radio or any kind of Catholic radio really is a good place to um, to put those resources. Because um, unfortunately, as you know, Wyatt, a lot of people um, either can't, don't want to, are afraid to. Um, go to mass regularly these days, mm -hmm. um, so this is how mass can come to them. Very good. Mm -hmm. I also think it's it's an invitation to them as well. Maybe if they haven't been to mass before, haven't been mm -hmm. mass for a while, it's mm -hmm. easy to listen to it, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. You know, you hear so many stories of people just going up and down the dial, or I should say listeners. You, yeah. I, I've heard this story before. People just going up and down the dial and, and literally stumbling across Catholic radio, mm -hmm, and right. they and somebody is saying something at that moment that makes them stop and say, you know, I'm going to listen a little, little longer, mm -hmm. and 
And then that little longer turns into a lot longer. And then next thing you know, they're listening regularly. So just imagine if it weren't there at all, and that person would just keep going up and down the, the dial mm -hmm. looking for something to listen to. So, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Faye, I want to ask you about the Beatitudes because mm -hmm. we're focused here on our fall share -thon on living the Beatitudes and, mm -hmm. and meditating on it, thinking about it, praying about the Beatitudes, as you know, so central to Christ mm -hmm. teaching uh, 2,000 years ago. Uh, any favorite Beatitudes, ones that, that you mm -hmm. like to think about or, or meditate about, pray about? So uh, Matthew 5, 8, blessed are those who are pure of heart for they shall see God. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, th I think we were sort of talking about this earlier, you know, that is the goal. Mm -hmm. That is the goal, to be of pure mind, to be of pure heart, um, to strive to live a Christ-like life, even though, you know, we can't be so here on, on earth in this life. We can strive to be that, mm -hmm. to be it, to be it for others, um, and and not just, just for ourselves. And for... You know, I, I think five, Matthew 5, 8, apart from myself, I think I, I, I can, I have a special place in my heart for this particular verse because I, I think of young people today who are exposed to so much that puts their poor little souls in such peril and... Yes, again, you know, apart from myself, I share that with other people to remind them, please, everything you do, you say, you think, even every decision you make, remember you're, you're impacting a young, impressionable person. Please give them the opportunity to have, to live a good life. And I think that's why I just, I just love that. It's, it's not... For me, but it's for others as well. I love the way Faye, you phrased it before by saying we strive to be that. We strive mm -hmm. to be Christ. Like it's a great goal to mm -hmm. orient ourselves to be that. Mm -hmm. uh, even though you're right, it's so challenging it nowadays is. in this world to, to do that. <laughs> yes. And we're all trying to get better at being more Christ-like and to live those Beatitudes mm -hmm. out. I, I do want to ask if you have any advice, though, to do that for those young people that you talked about. Because, like you said, there's so many distractions in this world. Um and, and luckily, like I said, you try to orient yourself at the beginning of each day to do that. Mm -hmm. What do you say to those people who are just feel like they're they're kind of falling behind in a world where you know mm -hmm. they may not have God or they might be distracted by uh, the daily challenges of life? Oh, you know, I hear from uh, things I hear from young people um, gives the impression that. You know, God is, you know, some kind of magician <laughs> right. that, that they can go to when, you know, they need things. And, um, and uh, otherwise, you know, God is just there. And, you know, I, I don't really need him at this moment. Um, to a young person, I would say, you know, find yourself a nice parish, a nice church. Um, make good friends. Friendships, they're important. Um, but it's important that your friends are uh, people who are uh, striving to live uh, a good life. Surround yourself with people like that. Stay off social media. <laughs> or, or if you are going to be engaged with social media, let it be uh, what is good about social media. There are some good resources out there. There are some good um, people to follow. Just, mm -hmm. just be very, very aware. Be very aware of of who and what you're exposing yourself to. Make every effort to just be the, the wonderful, pure individual that you are. Amen. Purity mm -hmm. is so important. It again, recalls mm -hmm. the, the beauty of the Beatitudes of, mm -hmm. of Christ calling us all to be pure mm -hmm. of heart mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So that's absolutely wonderful. You are listening to the Guadalupe Radio Network's Fall share -thon. Volunteers are standing by to take your phone call to make a donation or just make a pledge of support. The phone number to call in is 1-800-476-3311. That's 1-800-476-3311. Wyatt Goolsby is here with you alongside Faye Ben Cosme. She's a, a volunteer as well as a regular uh, monthly donor to the Guadalupe Radio Network. 
Uh, Faye, I want to follow up with you on that about because uh, I want to ask why it's so important for people to make uh, a donation to the Guadalupe Radio Network. Like I say, not all of us are made of money, mm -hmm. and uh, still you take the time to actually just make a regular monthly mm -hmm. donation. It, again, it doesn't have to be that much, but you do that consistently, and I want to ask you why you think that's so important and why you think other people should mm -hmm. consider doing that. Well, first and foremost, I think that I have an obligation to give to the church, and mm -hmm. I do see Guadalupe Radio as an extension of the church. Mm -hmm. So this is um, part of my tithing. Okay. Yeah, that's that's first and foremost. But um, also, I want this to be available for other people. Again, that person who might be looking for this and not even be aware um, that they're looking for it. And if it's not out there, they'll never come across it. They won't have that opportunity um, to uh, engage and, and, and just be exposed to all that is good about Guadalupe Radio. So yes, I want it to be available for others. Um, I am doing, I do do my regular contributions because again, I think that's that's what I ought to do. Mm -hmm. um, we are called to share the gospel, so this is my way of sharing. It's too warm in Texas to stand on a corner. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this We've got to use the other tools at our disposal, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, I'm using the tools at my disposal. Yeah. So that's uh, I, I love that. I love that idea because you're right. There's so many people that might not have access or maybe in a place where um, they may be distant from the church and they mm -hmm. can have that invitation to listen in where it may be just so easy with the radio. And I, I like how you said, you know, we try to build up the community in a sense, because as you know, with the Guadalupe Radio Network, mm -hmm. invite churches to, mm -hmm. to come and put PSA spots on mm -hmm. to let them know about what they're doing in their community. Uh, as you know, we try to interview as many clergy members as we yes. can to promote yes. vocations because you know, yes. we need it yes. and, and we need to support strong, holy families as well. Mm -hmm. So um, we're, we're so thankful for you and everybody else who is able to make that donation, whether it's one time monthly donation, it, it means so much to us. I, I want to ask you, Faye, about what you would tell other people um, who might not be familiar with the Guadalupe Radio Network. They might not be familiar with Catholic Radio. How do you begin to talk with somebody about that or talk with somebody about your faith? Maybe somebody who isn't familiar with Catholicism, because um, I think that could be difficult in, in beginning the conversation. Mm -hmm. How do you begin to do that? What is that program? And I, I, you know, I just have the radio on and I mm -hmm. never really notice what time certain programs come on programming. Um, but Catholic Answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah Catholic what, Answers. What, what sure. time is Catholic Answers? Well, is usually it, it airs in the evenings. Okay, the, you know, the, Your weekdays are in the evenings. But you're right, Catholic Answers is That's, one of those organizations yes, that we partner with. Yes, um, it is. And you're right, they do a great job of Q&A, yes, where, yes. where it could be, you know, anybody, whether they're Catholic or non-Catholic, yes, yes. asking questions about the faith. Yes. You're absolutely right. And there are a lot of different people who call in, a lot of people from different faiths mm -hmm. who call in and they right. have questions. And <laughs> I'm always impressed by how quickly those, yeah, those yeah. <laughs> questions are answered. It's like, okay, wait a minute, he's got a Rolodex. But anyway, right. yeah, the, the questions are answered very quickly. And um and yes, I, I I imagine that a lot of listeners who call in and have their their questions answered. Okay, first of all, we know that they're curious and they're engaged because otherwise they wouldn't be calling in. Right. And who knows what having that question answered for them does for that person? It may send them away thinking, hmm, you know, this is something I need to look into some more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, and I, I'm always impressed as well by their ability to answer those questions yeah, so quickly. Because, yeah, yeah, if it was me, I'd be like, let me look it up. Let me get the catechism out here yeah, and make sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I give them credit. I give priests credit to clergy members who are able to answer those questions. Because you're right, Faye. feels like a lot of them come out of the blue. But they're good questions. Mm -hmm, and the mm -hmm. answers are really good, too, and really um, the theologically, yes. theologically rich. Yes. Um, another show uh, program I enjoy quite a bit is uh, Teresa Tamio. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, she really has her pulse on the media and a lot of, um, you know, the misinformation that goes on through our legacy media. And uh, if a listener, again, is um, going up and down the dial and they just 
happen to tune in at a time when Teresa Tamio is on and she is um, correcting or, you know, just informing uh, what is what is inaccurate about what you may have heard in, on some of the um, bigger uh, media outlets. Um, if, if that is an opportunity, again, for someone to just stop and say, hey, you know, who, who is this woman? What is she talking about? This is, I've, I've never heard this before. That's not what I'm hearing on, dare I say, I don't want to call out networks right but, but secular <laughs> secular yes, stations yes. you're right uh, yeah if if um if something like that if a moment like that um catches a person and um serves as an invitation for that person to come into the faith then you know hey yeah it's it's a it's a wonderful thing you're yeah. absolutely right i think Teresa tamio is so professional and so it's it's easy for people to listen to her yes. who may not come from a catholic background but listen to somebody who's professional yes. and then hear yes. the faith aspect yes. as well because you know we're all weirdos right we're, we're all a little quirky <laughs> yeah. we're all a little quirky yeah. faith. that's then, true yeah and then you hear someone like Teresa tamio and it's like oh, okay i know if i weren't catholic i would hear her and go oh you know, maybe I want to listen to what this woman has to say. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I want to follow up, uh, Faye, by, by asking you about your own prayer life and if you mm -hmm. have any favorite prayers. Of course, one of the things that we ask people who listen to Guadalupe Radio Network, Catholic Radio, is not only to call and make a pledge or to tell the friends mm -hmm. about it, but also to pray for our media ministry mm -hmm. because prayer is so central to what we do. We begin uh, so many of our programs with prayer. Uh, do you have mm -hmm. any favorite prayers or things that help to, to ground you? Well, I absolutely love mm -hmm. the um, prayer of um, our Archangel, St. Saint Michael. Yeah, so, St. Michael the again, Archangel. Yes, yeah. I, I Defend us in battle. Prayer. Defend us in battle. Mm -hmm. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of all those, mm -hmm. you know, devils out there, but uh, I love that prayer, and I really look forward to listening to Mass every morning, because as you know, it ends with mm -hmm. that prayer, and then it goes right into the other prayer of uh, St. Gabriel, mm -hmm. and um, I just, I love both of those prayers. Again, I just feel like I am putting something out into the, the world, um, just asking for all of our forces, so to speak, to to come down and 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 protect us and intervene on our behalf on on all of you know just what's going on in our world. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. And I'm I'm so glad that you've come on here, Faye, and to talk about the importance of the mass because it you know as you know we're in a Eucharistic revival mm -hmm. where the bishops are pushing for that and the fact that. Uh, so many people are able to listen to the Mass, like yourself in the morning, and be able to orient themselves and their whole day mm -hmm. uh, towards Christ, mm -hmm. uh, I know has been uh, such such a blessing for so many people. Mm -hmm. And so you and, and so many of the people who are watching and listening to this um, help to keep keep Catholic Radio on the air to make that possible, like you say, for so many people who may not have access mm -hmm. or, or um, you know, a connection to the faith mm -hmm. otherwise. So I want to take a moment to, to thank you Faye Ben Cosme for coming here on the program. It's it's so great to have you on. We thank you so much. Thank you, Wyatt. Thank you so much. This is Wyatt Goolsby with KSHJ in Houston. Again, you are listening to the 2024 Fall share -thon on the Guadalupe Radio Network. The phone number to call in to donate is 1-800-476-3311. Call in and talk to a friendly volunteer, someone like Faye who's on the other end of the, the line. Again, 1-800-476-3311.